Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, as you might guess, I am in another super cool place. These are the headquarters of BYD or Biati in Shenzhen. And today we're gonna go around and learn a little bit about this wonderful brand that is now one of the biggest automakers in the world. So come with me and let's enjoy Discover BYD. And we're right now in one of the coolest showrooms I've ever seen since I'm in China. I've had the opportunity to visit several technology companies all around China. And this one is very cool, especially because of the history that BYD has as a company. They started a couple decades ago manufacturing batteries. That history uh, stays until nowadays. They actually started making molds, making this kind of different kind of craft molding different kind of metals. That's how they actually started as a company several years ago. They're still manufacturing different kind of parts for other bigger companies. I was really surprised because I had no idea. BYT actually manufactures the covers or the cases of many super famous phone models, including the one that I use, the Xiaomi 12. And you can see there is a huge range of models and several other brands and different kind of parts. They were the people who actually created kind of a new material mixing metal of plastic. This is a very hard case to protect our phones. We can see here the different materials they mix and match. These are called plastic particles and they will mix it with the colors and textures and levels of strength to make durable covers for our phones. So probably if you're seeing this video through your phone, turn around and check out the back probably that bag, that cover was made by BYD. But not just only these covers, of course BYD is in charge of manufacturing batteries and that is the main of the biggest strength of this company. They make EVs, they make electric vehicles, but they actually manufacture every single component of their vehicles. Except for the glass and the tires, they make every single part of the vehicles including the chips that are conducting the information within the vehicle is also designed, produced, manufactured by BYD. They are just now making electric vehicles, all types of vehicles, taxis, uh, autobuses, they make uh, utility cars, like the ones you see on the airport carrying the suitcases and pushing the airplanes back, they make those vehicles. We can see here what used to be part of the history of BYD. These are some of the internal combustion products that they used to make before where they, they're part of these kind of vehicles that no longer are being manufactured by BYD. As I tell you, they just transitioned it and they are now only making EVs. If you didn't know, Shenzhen is the first city in the world that electrified the whole fleet of buses, public buses and taxis. So every single bus and taxi in Shenzhen actually belongs to BYD. This is a local brand that was born here in Shenzhen and now we have all our buses and all our taxis, they're all EVs, they're fully electric vehicles that are helping us to transport from one place to the other. This is a very interesting brand, what they're doing right now. So here, for example, we have what it will be the sunroof or the cover, the top of the car. You can actually try here and see it from the top. Usually you don't get to see uh, the car from the very top.
One of the parts that we get to see at first when we get in the car is of course the central panel or the screen. Of course, BYD make those parts for their own cars and we can see a wide range of different shapes and sizes of the, for these type of screens. They're all good quality, very sensitive touching screens. We can see the interface, how easy they are to navigate just like a tablet would do. So all this ecosystem, all this screen, these products are designed also by BYD. BYD was one of these companies that started or were forced to diversify a little bit the production of the different products they're making and start manufacturing also masks. The need or the demand, of course, of masks during that time was so high that other companies started to manufacture uh, these kind of products. And I think until now, they're still making them. They're, and they have all kinds of different masks, from the regular ones that regular citizens will use on the street to the more professional KN95, to all the ones maybe for kids, with more fun designs like this one. that BYD was responsible or the people who actually designed safe electric vehicles and when it comes to the design of the battery and the components the battery have inside there's no other company safer than BYD. Before we just saw a demonstration how the battery will react over a crash, a collision or an accident where the batteries get affected. Usually this is a typical classical kind of battery so we will find in any EV in the world. BYD designed a new product where they are arranging the battery like this with different kind of components in order to make it safer. And actually we just saw a demonstration how it will react using this kind of huge needle to penetrate on a regular uh, battery that you find in your car and it really exploded. And actually you can see behind me how it looks like right now. It caught fire, it was a huge explosion. Of course it's definitely not safe if that ever gets to happen to your EV wherever you are. But then later, they show us how their battery, the one they designed, which is this one right here, would react to that. They use the same exact process on those machines you can see behind me to penetrate through the battery and absolutely nothing else happened. The battery was like, just stay stable, no explosion, no fire, which shows and guarantee that this is definitely a more safe or a safer battery for an EV. Now the technologies that are being created in China and any companies like BYD are not just only faster or more efficient, but also safer to use around the world. Times are changing, companies in China are changing, evolving and becoming better. And I'm pretty sure you will get to know and get to see more about BYD or BYD in the future, wherever you are. Here we have the very famous green buses that we use in Shenzhen. It's actually visitor friendly. As you can see, it's wide open for us to take a look. And this is how a regular bus will look in Shenzhen. Very spacious, very stable, and very silent because they're powered by electricity. You can see here they have this glass cover. Of course, they're not like this in reality, but there's just a, like a demonstration to kind of show and illustrate the way they look like. And some seats, of course, were taken off to see, uh, to demonstrate or showcase how these buses actually look like. That makes me happy to live in a city like that just because of the way they're implementing new green energies to power up a full fleet of buses. So anywhere you go, you're not, you're not polluting our environment because you're using green energy automobiles like this one. We're talking about buses, we're talking about taxis. It's really incredible. And not just because it's all uh, electric buses or electric vehicles, but because of the amount. Shenzhen is a city of more than 14 million people. So imagine, try to picture uh, the amount of buses and taxis that are required to satisfy the demands of a city like Shenzhen. Yeah. 
And of course, no visit to an automaker is completed until you get the chance to actually drive their car. So let's go and try them. I will go with my friend Nestle yeah. to try the cars. We're going to drive one of the SUV that BYD is making. Yep. This is the Sam Plus DMI. This yep. is the full name of this model. And we're going to have the chance to drive it. Okay, so we're ready to start testing this EV. Can we go very, very fast? Uh, no. no. <laughs> All these cars are EV that are made by BYD, or at least most of them. Like everywhere I see, it's just BYD logo. Pretty smooth. We won't have the sound that some cars might make, but this is just very smooth electric vehicle. I would really like to try the acceleration, like going really fast, but that's not gonna be possible. And we even have a traffic light within the complex. You can see there, remember this is a private complex that belongs to BYD. It's so big that you actually count with traffic lights within the complex to regulate the traffic and make it like more safe. Or I'm not sure this is actually for uh, testing purposes. We reach 52 kilometers per hour. I like the smell of new things and new cars are is one of my favorite artificial smells that I can ever get. And yeah, smells good. I like it. This is the Sun Plus DMI version of this SUV. Around 180,000 renminbi. You people need sidewalks here. We need to beat sidewalks. They're walk they're walking on the on the road. That's very dangerous. Right, we just finished our testing of the Sun DMI Plus and now we're gonna try the what? Ting Plus the, DMI. The Ting Plus DMI. It's, the, it's more like a sedan car, smaller inside, but still looks good. So let's go. Now we're driving the sedan version, one of the different models that BYD is making. I, I hear the beep, somebody didn't pass the seatbelt. Uh, Next thing, maybe. You can try our. Ni hao, xiao di. Turn the music on. So, oh, so as you can see, the car responds to voice commands. You can just keep, tell them uh, to start or open the music app and they will do as you can see here. Oh, this is a prototype. You see it's covered, the one is coming. It's probably a secret car and you oh maybe God. she won't allow me to That's put that one on my video, right? <laughs> you know, these cars are widely popular right now in big cities like Shenzhen. Most of the fleet of cars that you, you get when you call a Didi, which is the Chinese version of Uber, are coming from BYD and it's, they're surprisingly comfortable, surprisingly silent and surprisingly fast. Because of course this car needs to go in around the city the whole day. They're very convenient and because of the years of experience that BYD has in the market, this, are, this is definitely a brand that you can trust. Also in Shenzhen, uh, the city where I live, you have the chance to get on board on BYD cars every day. When you arrive in the airport, you get to see this huge line of uh, BYD taxis, all electric cars that will take you home. So the reputation as an automaker that gives you the trust to ride and buy these kind of cars. I'm absolutely happy uh, to, to see this brand growing as it is doing it right now. So this has been it for today, my friends. Let me know what you think about BYD if you ever get to hear about this brand, if you ever driven any electric car where you are right now. Remember, of course, as I was told, you like the video and subscribe if you haven't. Also remember to hit the bell button in the corner to get to know next time I upload a video. With that, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm gonna be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world.
If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching, and stay safe until next time.